All right, so this is how everything is looking after all the winds have calmed down. And so I was out here earlier. I didn't get any video, but I came out here and chopped down a lot of the broken leaves. So that's why you don't see too many broken leaves. You see just the frill palm leaves, the frill banana leaves. Okay. This is what I did with them. I just chopped and dropped them and threw them down in the inside. And this is how we're looking on this side. So the most important thing is that everything is still standing. All the little frill palm, um, frill banana leaves. I don't know why I want to call them palm leaves, but banana leaves, they can, they'll easily grow back. No problem. I did lose the top of my mango trees here, but no matter, that'll do well. It'll just stimulate the plant to grow more. It's almost like a mini pruning. So I did get a little bit of wind whip there. Of course, the frilled palm, the frilled banana leaves have wind whip. So this is how strong the winds were. The winds were so strong that it was able to pull and peel back the layers of the banana, uh, the trunk of the banana tree. And it did it to this one as well, but just not as severely. Okay. And these as well took a pretty, a pretty hard beating and the wind peeling back the bark of the banana tree. Now, assessing the damage and assessing the system, definitely this and this took the brunt of the winds that came in, okay? So I know for sure I'm gonna need to plant more trees here to help with that wind and definitely more trees along the westwardly side. My um, watermelon vine did not make it. It may recoup. Cause I see a little bit here, but for the most part, it's, it's, it's wind whipped honey. It's done. There was a dead Goomba tree here. If you probably look back through the videos, you'll see it. I took it up. Okay. And then there's a little wind whip right there on my elderberry mulberry tree here. My kale made it. My little lettuces made it. My other curly leaf kale made it. Pretty much everything under the canopy made it. Um, I was really good. I'm really happy about that. Okay, I got a little wind whip right here on the fig tree, you know. But no matter, no matter, it's all good. My okra right here made it as well. It has a little wind whip right there, but it made it. Still got my two lemons on there. It's like a large opening right here. But there go the few papaya, baby papayas that are still hanging on. Got these on this side too. And here are some of the longer variety hanging on. Oh, that's two from one. Never seen it like that. Interesting. And just checking on these plots, they did fairly well really no problem i know it looks like ain't much here but there are some things here just some overgrownness but no matter we'll get it done we'll get it cleaned out collard green still holding on little wind whip on the banana i came out here and i cut a few of the bad leaves off that were um broken and severely damaged by the wind yep so my okra is gangsta leaning but it's still in there scallions right here they in there basil got a little wind whip on the basil got some wind whip but it's holding up it's it's here it's strong all right busted up banana leaves but still holding it's still going strong garlic chives still going strong all right <clears throat> so for the most part everything's good here's a view from this side and bet somebody's Goonga peas are gangster leaning from all the wind that we had. Okay. So 
that's going to be all for today. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. And until the next time, peace.